The Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, said, I am the Prophet, not a lie. I am the son of Abd al-Mutalib. Narrated by Imam Ahmad on the authority of al-Bara, if we wanted to talk about the personality of Muhammad, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, we would find that he was unique with a personality that was distinguished by qualities that were not found in anyone. He, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, is the greatest personality known to history, and the most complete man ever known to humanity. The scholar before his mission, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was in the darkness of deviation from the truth and immersed in misguidance and ignorance, the Arab and non-Arab nation are equal in that. As for the Arabs, they were in the darkness of false beliefs, they were bored and deviating from the truth. Among them are the secularists who do not believe in a God who runs the world, and they deny the resurrection and the reckoning. Such as dividing by arrows, falsification, and pessimism in many things, and they were in the darkness of reprehensible habits and reprehensible actions, they circumambulate the house naked, put girls in the dirt while they are alive, commit indecency, and wage war for trivial reasons. This does not mean that all the morals of the Arabs were evil, rather they had, along with these shortcomings, advantages and feats, such as generosity, courage, ignoring grievances, fulfilling promises, an aspiration for excellence, in addition to eloquence of speech, eloquence of tongue, and good eloquence, this is the case of the Arab nation. As for the non-Arab nations, some of them were against the Zoroastrianism, such as the Persians and the Berbers, some of whom were on Buddhism, like the Indians and the people of China, and among them were those who were Christian, but they were far from its true face, like the Romans, and in the Arab environment far from knowledge, and deep in misguidance and ignorance, the birth of our master Muhammad, may God's prayers and peace be upon him. The Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was born in the noblest of Arab households, and the highest in lineage, which is the house of Hashem bin Abd Manif. And he, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, grew up an orphan who did not feel the sympathy of fatherhood, so he sees the tenderness that fathers bestow on their children, and his orphanhood increased after his mother died with fatherhood. Muhammad undertook the protection of God from the first moment in which existence was given the radiance of his appearance, so his life from his birth until his death was a bright and luminous life filled with pride, filled with honors. Its degrees. It was previously in the will of God Almighty that Muhammad, May God's prayers and peace be upon him, be the messenger of God to all people, so he singled him out with characteristics that distinguished him, and he was the pinnacle of them, and there were living examples to be emulated, including generosity, he was the most generous of people, and he was more generous than the blowing wind, courage, he, peace and blessings of God be upon him, was a living and uncompromising model in his bravery. God placed in his heart the greatest share of courage in the places of engagement. If the anguish intensified, and the raging heated up, and terror and distress overtook people, he would, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, be the safe haven for Muslims. And a hero who surpasses all heroes, and his immortal stances in wars, his rare courage in battles, and his wise actions, in the darkest of situations, are what charts their path for leaders, and lays for them the foundations of optimal leadership. Ali bin Abi Talib, may God be pleased with him, said, Whenever the base was hot and the eyes were red, we would have reverenced the messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, and no one would be closer to the enemy than him. Honesty, he, peace and blessings of God be upon him, was the most truthful of people in Hadith, he was known among his family and clan, and everyone who mixed with him, and in this way he gained people's trust in him, and when God commanded him to call out aloud to his people, he called his people, and when they gathered for him, he said to them, O oh people of Quraysh, do you think that if I told you that the horses in the valley wanted to attack you, would you believe me? They said, Yes, we have not tried a lie on you, O oh Ibn Abdullah. God is for you in particular and for all people, so Abu Lahab said, Damn you, O oh Muhammad, is this why you brought us together? Then the Almighty's saying was revealed, My father's hand repented and repented. al Masti. One, whoever claims the message has claimed what humanity cannot comprehend, and if Muhammad, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, claimed the message without truthfulness, his command would have appeared and those who followed him from those with great intellects became clear something that invalidates and invalidates this claim, and Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace, continued to call him in a manner 23 years ago, he wrote his message, and no one was able to find evidence that Muhammad was not honest. 
The best evidence of his sincerity is that those who hurried to believe him, and proceeded in believing in his call, are the ones who hardly separated from him, such as Abu Bakr and others. Reasoning. The chosen prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, was distinguished by his reasonableness of mind, perfection of his intelligence, and the wisdom of his opinion, so that God would prepare him with this to the most honorable station, which is the station of the message, and by which the messenger would understand the purposes of revelation, so he would explain it, and he would know the affairs of the community and improve its policy, and Muhammad used to pray may God bless him and grant him peace. The preponderance of the intellect, the holes of thought, and the power of intuition, in addition to the knowledge that he has excelled in and established from the Sharia with his illiteracy, and without prior knowledge. Al-Rabi bin Qatim says, he used to refer to the Messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, in the pre-Islamic period, then he was singled out for that in Islam. Humility, the Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was characterized by the creation of humility, so you saw him, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, humble without pretentiousness, serving himself, sewing his clothes, and his condition with the weak on the day he began his call is his condition after his emigration, after the conquest of Mecca, his victory over his enemies, and the submission of the people of polytheism for him, and the entry of people into God's religion in crowds, he would sit where the assembly ends, and he gives each one of his sitting a share so that his sitter does not think that anyone is more generous to him than him, and he does not interrupt anyone from his speech until he breaks it and reduces it, so he cuts it off by ending or standing, and if the man receives him so he shook his hand, not removing his hand from his hand until it was the man who turned his face away. Anas bin Malik said, the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was the best of people, even if he would mix with us until he said to a younger brother of mine, oh, Abu Umar, what did the Nughair do? Asceticism. The Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, was ascetic in the enjoyment of this life, not full of its adornment and sanctuary, and when the world came to him after the conquest of Mecca, he did not change his conduct in food, drink, clothing and home furnishings. Aisha, may God be pleased with her, says, the family of Muhammad, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was not satiated since he arrived in Madinah, with good food for three nights until he was caught. She also said, the bed of the Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was made of man-made fibers. The oneness of God, the emptiness of Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace, was endeared to him. God, the heart filled with fear, and after the revelation was sent down upon him, he was attached to his determination to worship God, perform the call, and draw closer to God by remembrance, prayer, fasting and recitation of the Quran. Imam al-Bukhari narrated on the authority of al-Mughira ibn Shu'abah that he said, if the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, would get up and pray until his feet shriveled, he would be said to him, and he would say, should I not be a grateful slave? his participation in the affairs of society, the Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, participated in the affairs of the society in which he lived, and his participation requires him to do so. He attended the war of the ignorant, and he threw arrows in it, and he attended the oath of curiosity, and he, peace and blessings of God be upon him, said about him, I do not like to take an oath of his presence in the house of Ibn Jadan, the camels, and if I were called to him in Islam, I would have answered, and it is the oath of curiosity. Fun in the life of the Prophet. One of the characteristics of the Holy Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, is, fun, he was jovial, felt in his sweet, caring sense of humor. Zaid bin Thabit was working with the companions during the battle of the trench, and the messenger, may God bless him and grant him peace, saw his enthusiasm and activity and said, as for him, the boy is good. And it happened that Zaid was overcome by his eyes and slept in the trench. He did not find his weapon, so he panicked, and the messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, knew of his dread, so he said to him, Oh, Abu Rukad. This sweet joke comes out of the messenger of God, may God bless him and grant him peace, while he is in the most difficult circumstances. This is some of the manners of the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, and his divine manners with which God disciplined his messenger. Abu Bakr, may God be pleased with him, said while he was talking to the messenger, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, I have traveled around the Arabs and listened to their health, so I did not see, nor did I hear anyone like you, so who taught you? The messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, said, my Lord disciplined me, so he disciplined me well. 
Great reforms have been carried out at his hands, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, and huge accidents that confirm his greatness. Among these reforms are, 1. His unification of the Arab nation after there were tribes that did not form a single unit. Point 2. Its elimination of idolatry, and its replacement by the Islamic religion, which raises man to the ranks of sublimity and perfection. Point 3. It brought about a reform that transformed the Arabs from corruption and indulgence in lusts and the loss of the rights of the weak, to virtuous morals, worshipping God alone, and achieving social justice, without discriminating between the weak and the strong and making the basis of differentiation is piety, indeed, the most honorable of you in the sight of God is the most pious of you. Al-Hujurat, 13.